The Evo Nano Plus is a drone with fantastic video quality, great potential for photography, and it's also very interesting because of its weight below the important threshold of 250 grams. But there are still a few issues that need to be ironed out. This week Hotel has released a new version of the firmware, so in this video we are going to see which improvement have been added. In order to update the firmware, we need first to upload the new version of the app, 1.2.14. When we connect the aircraft, we are asked to upgrade the firmware. Make sure that the newly formatted SD card is inserted. Ok, let's see what is new then. First of all, a very nice surprise. This is something I asked for plenty of times, and I'm glad to see that Hotel was listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I can proudly announce today that in the Nano Plus we finally have... The histogram. So, from now on we can finally expose properly with this drone, considering also that the auto exposure in the Nano has a huge tendency to overexpose. In the control tab of the settings, we notice the addition of a new EXP window to fine tune the sensitivity of the two sticks of the remote controller. Another useful feature. Another feature that a lot of users are eagerly waiting for is some sort of attic track, which could obviously make the most of the obstacle sensors. Sadly, this firmware update brings dynamic track only to the EVO light, but not to the Nano. We will have to wait a bit longer for it. A minor but useful feature that has been added is a quick transfer from the SD card to the remote device at 160 Mbps with a Wi-Fi connection. A couple of other bug fixes regard the digital zoom performance to reduce the zoom response time and increase the smoothness. The blinking issue in panorama mode has also been fixed. I was eagerly waiting for some improvements regarding RAW photos. This drone has a huge potential for photography, but the color profile of the RAW files was not correct. There used to be a noticeable green cast. With my RAW editing software, on one photo RAW the tint slider of the white balance used to be all the way to the right to compensate by adding a maximum dose of magenta. After the update, the green cast is not as pronounced as it was before, and the thin slider is not on the right edge anymore. We have now some room to get rid of the cast. So, a noticeable improvement, but the main issue now is that there is an area of higher luminosity in the upper middle part compared to the rest of the image. In this area there is also a tendency to develop a strong magenta cast. These issues become more evident if we push the dehaze slider. Therefore there is still work to do regarding photography, but it is good to see that in both firmware updates Hotel has done some slight change to the raw files, which means that it is aware of the issue and at some stage will be hopefully completely solved. I will certainly come back with another video about photography with the Nano Plus, where I will also analyze the 50 megapixel mode that has been added by the previous firmware update. The most important new features are about video, an area where I did not expect any changes, as I find the quality of footage in this drone excellent. The new firmware adds two new video modes, HDR and Log. Some users think that in a normal basic profile the footage is too sharp, even though I don't fully agree. The 8-bit log flat profile could solve the issue, as it is not edited and therefore there should be no sharpening at all. So we now have four modes available, the basic one, the one adding the fog with a choice of three strength values, and the two new ones. HDR and log only work in video mode and not in pro, therefore only with automatic exposure, and it is a huge letdown. Well, if someone is using a flat profile, it's also willing to do proper computer post-processing. But using auto-exposure is not possible to shoot any serious footage and defeats the purpose of a log profile. From time to time, Hotel goes for very naive moves, like forgetting the histogram and now proposing 
auto exposure for a log profile. Hopefully, manual exposure with the log will be available soon. Yesterday I shot some footage to compare the four video modes, but the light conditions were impossible. There was a southern wind bringing a huge amount of haze mixed with salt from the sea and sand from the Sahara Desert. I never shoot under these kind of conditions. Today the light was beautiful, but it was also quite windy. I ventured to an area where the wind was much stronger than in my home point, and my beloved Nano did not manage to come back home into the wind. Poor little thing. So I had to order a new one that should arrive next week. This video is getting very expensive, so a thumb up will be very much appreciated. I would like to show you the footage taken yesterday just to give you a very rough idea of the different color modes in horrible conditions. Please don't laugh at the quality of the footage. I will do another video about these color modes in decent light condition as soon as I will get the new unit. We have the classic normal mode. The then the same mode with the highest value of the fog, which in my opinion is the one that better fits the conditions. Then HDR, to be used in high dynamic range situation. Apparently in this mode the camera captures frames at different exposures and automatically blends them together to provide more contrast and a wider dynamic range. Finally, the 8-bit flat log profile, ungraded, for users that need to control the whole post-processing of the footage. In this view of a village, we can better appreciate the nice color and the detail of the two new modes, HDR and Log. Let me know in the comment below your opinion about the new modes HLG and Log, if you have already tried them or from what you can see here. Click on this link to access my playlist about the Nano Plus with video about uh, video quality, photo quality and comparison with different DJI models. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.